find all second order partials for the given function. We have f of x is equal to x to the fourth times y to the sixth, excuse me, the natural exponential of x to the fourth times y to the sixth, minus y cubed divided by x. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just rewrite this function. So we have f of xy is equal to the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth, and then I'm going to rewrite the rational expression minus y cubed times x to the negative 1. So first things first, we have to find the first order partials. So we have two variables, so we will have two first order partial derivatives. So we have the partial derivative here with respect to x is going to be 4x cubed times y to the 6th times the natural exponential raised to the x to the 4th times y to the 6th, and then this will be plus y cubed times x to the negative 2. And then our first order partial with respect to y is going to leave us with 6 times y to the 5th times x to the 4th multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the x to the 4th times y to the 6th minus 3y squared times x to the negative 1. So these are our two first order partial derivatives. And we'll use them to find the second order partial derivatives. So each one of these first order partials will have two second order partials. Alright, so working with the partial derivative here with respect to x, we know from here we'll be able to find the second order partial of x with respect to x, and then the second order partial of x with respect to y. So let's start here by differentiating with respect to x. So again, remember, we're treating y like a constant here. So with this first exponential, I'm just going to pull this 4y to the 6 out to the front so that I notice I've got this x cubed times the natural exponential raised to an x, so we'll need a product rule there. So 4y to the 6 will be multiplied by 3x squared times the natural exponential raised to the x to the 4th times y to the 6th plus x cubed multiplied by the derivative of the exponential, which again is going to be 4 times x cubed times y to the 6th multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the x to the 4th times y to the 6th, and then we want to differentiate uh, y cubed times x to the negative 2 with respect to x, which will leave us with a minus 2 y cubed times x to the negative 3. And we need to simplify this just a little bit here. Let's see. In our first expression, we have a greatest common factor here of x squared times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. So if we pull that out to the front, it will look a little bit nicer. So we'll be left here with 4 times y to the sixth times x squared times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. And on the inside, we are left with a 3 plus 4x squared times y to the 6th. And that's still minus 2y cubed times x to the negative 3. So there is the second order partial of x with respect to x. 
And now again, we're still using that first order partial with respect to x, but now we want to differentiate with respect to y. Oops. So it should be partial derivative of x with respect to y. So here again, looking at this expression, we can see that we have this y to the sixth out in front as a power function. And then we have in the exponential, we have an exponent of y to the sixth. So again, we're gonna need a product rule there. So here, this time we'll keep this four x cubed out in front and then apply the product rule with respect to y. So I have six times y to the fifth multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth plus y to the sixth multiplied by the derivative of the exponential which will be 6y to the fifth times x to the fourth multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth and then we'll have plus 3y squared times x to the negative 2. And then to simplify this again, looking within these brackets here, we can see that we have a greatest common factor of 6y to the fifth times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. So we can factor that out to the front. So we have 4 times 6 is 24 times x cubed times y to the fifth times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. And then this is multiplied by 1 plus y to the sixth times x to the fourth and then we still have that plus 3y squared times x to the negative 2. And so that is our simplified second order partial of x with respect to y. So now we are moving on to our first order partial here with respect to y. And again, we're going to keep in mind from here, we can find the second order partial of y with respect to x, as well as the second order partial of y with respect to y. So just as we did before, we want to look within this first order partial to see if we're integrating, excuse me, differentiating here with respect to x, where are those x's occurring? So in this first term, we have this x to the fourth, out in front as a power function, and then we have x to the fourth here in the exponent. So again, we're going to need a product rule. And then don't forget about the x to the negative one there as well. So here we go. We're going to find the second order partial of x with respect to y. Shame on me. We're finding the second order partial of y with respect to x. All right, so we are uh, differentiating with respect to x here. I'm going to leave this 6y to the fifth out in front. So the derivative of x to the fourth leaves us with 4x cubed times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth plus x to the fourth multiplied by the derivative of the exponential with respect to x. So that will be 4x cubed times y to the sixth times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. And then we will have minus times a minus, so plus 3y squared times x to the negative 2. And then again, looking within these brackets here, we can see we have a greatest common factor of 4x cubed times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. And so we can pull this out to simplify this. 
So we're left with 6 times 4 is 24 times x cubed times y to the fifth times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth. And then within these brackets, we're left with 1 plus x to the fourth times y to the sixth plus 3y squared times x to the negative 2. And while this is a quite a large second order partial derivative, we are excited here because we see that these two mixed order partial derivatives match. Hip hip hooray! So now we are moving on to our last second order partial here. We want to find the second order partial of y with respect to y. And so let's keep in mind again, looking up here, let's get rid of these highlighted x's. We want to this time highlight the y's. And so we have, this is again, that was x to the fourth, x to the fourth. All right, so we are differentiating this first order partial with respect to y. So let's note that we have a y to the fifth out in front here, as well as a y to the sixth in the exponent. So again, we're going to need a product rule there. And then last but not least, don't forget about that y squared in the second term. So here we go. I'm going to keep this 6x to the fourth out in front because we're treating x like a constant. So the derivative of y to the fifth will be 5 times y to the fourth multiplied by the original exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth plus y to the fifth multiplied by the derivative of the natural exponential, which is 6y to the fifth times x to the fourth, multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth, and then we'll have minus 6y times x to the negative 1. And again, looking within these parentheses here, we can see we have a greatest common factor of the exponential as well as a y to the fourth. Right, so we'll split this up. That's y to the fourth times y. So we can pull, so we'll make a love note here, the greatest common factor here is y to the fourth times the natural exponential raised to the x to the fourth times y to the sixth so this becomes 6 times x to the 4th times y to the 4th times the natural exponential raised to the x to the 4th times y to the 6th multiplied by 5 plus 6y to the 6th times x to the 4th. And then that's minus 6y times x to the negative 1. And so that is our last second order partial derivative.